my channel and if you're new here I'm Holly uh, on my channel you'll find cooking baking DIYs the occasional shopping haul um, shop with me and uh, what I cook for dinner videos that I'm starting to do uh, so if that's the type of content that you would be interested in seeing then I invite you to join my YouTube community and become a part of my YouTube family uh, just click that subscribe button and the notification bell and that'll notify you when I post new videos. Today's video is a Thanksgiving collaboration and it is being hosted by Valerie at The Harvard Life and you would love her channel. She has cooking and baking um, and grocery hauls and she loves to cook. She always has great recipes so please check her channel out. The link will be down below in the description box along with the playlist of the other collaborators in this um, collaboration, other YouTubers in this collaboration. So please go to their uh, channels and see the delicious desserts uh, that will give you some motivation to cook for Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna show you two desserts in this video uh, that I made. One is a pumpkin praline cake and the other is a apple crisp cookie, cookie cups. And I think either one would make a great addition to your Thanksgiving meal. So let's get started and I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you how to make that. Now this first recipe is for a pumpkin praline cake and this one is really delicious. I'm going to show you the ingredients for the cake and for the icing. But you will need one box of yellow cake mix and do not worry about the ingredients on the back although we will use some oil and some eggs but we will use different increments so just one yellow box of cake mix one cup of whole milk you will also need one cup of pumpkin puree and this is the one i use you will need a half a cup of chopped pecans, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, three fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth cup of oil, and four eggs. Now for the icing, you will need two cans of sweetened condensed milk, and I like the Eagle brand. You will need four tablespoons of unsalted butter and one cup of chopped pecans. Now to a medium sized bowl you will add your cake mix and you do not need a mixer for this. We're just going to hand mix this. You will also add the pumpkin puree, your milk, oil, and the four eggs. Add the nutmeg and the cinnamon. And I don't like to just dump it in. I always like spread it out. I just feel like it gets incorporated a little bit better. Then add your chopped pecans. Now mix this until everything is fully combined and everything is moistened. Um, it's not going to be a smooth batter necessarily because of the pecans. But you will have it where it's fully mixed and you will see that in the end that it's has that texture of the batter that you're looking for. Now in a 9 by 13 pan I just sprayed it with some Baker's Joy and you can use any nonstick spray that you want and then just pour in that batter and you want to spread it out evenly and bake this on 350 for 27 minutes or until the middle of the cake is completely cooked. Now to a small saucepan, add the four tablespoons of butter and the two cans of condensed milk and your chopped pecans. And you're just gonna heat this through. And you basically wanna cook this just until the butter has melted. So once the butter has completely melted, then that's when it's done.
Now, use a wooden spoon, the handle of a wooden spoon, to make the holes in the cake. And then take half of this icing mixture, and you will pour that into the holes as much as you can, and completely over the cake. But you will also save half of the icing, and let that cool down for just a little bit. And then you will pour this over the rest of the cake. Now the icing will not stay necessarily white on the cake. It's going to soak into it and it will kind of soak to the bottom. So you will have some once it's done in the bottom of the cake. Now I like mine refrigerated and I feel like it lasts longer and it actually tastes really good when it's cold, but you can heat it back up if you'd like. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It really is a moist pumpkin praline cake. It really is delicious. Great for Thanksgiving or really any time, but it is definitely a good Thanksgiving cake to make. And I hope this is a recipe you will enjoy. So if you enjoyed this one, I hope that you enjoy the next one that I'm going to show you. Now the second recipe is an apple crisp cookie cup and these are delicious the it is worth the time to peel and cut up those apples and it's only four apples that you're going to use uh, but it really is a really nice recipe and they will make about 15 to 20 depending on how large you make them and for the cookie part you will need one cup of brown sugar a half a cup of granulated sugar one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour, one and three-fourth cups of rolled oats, two eggs, two sticks of softened butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now for the filling you will need four Granny Smith apples, peeled, cored, and cut into small pieces, a fourth cup of brown sugar, a fourth cup of granulated sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And optional is uh, caramel sauce, but you do not have to add that. To a mixing bowl, you will add your brown sugar, granulated sugar, and your butter. And then you will mix this until it becomes light and fluffy. Now once you've done that and it has this creamy type look to it, then you will add your two eggs and add your vanilla and then mix this again to make sure everything's evenly combined. And once you have that, mixed well then you will add your flour and the oats now add your baking powder cinnamon and kosher salt and you want to mix that in really well you want this to be fully incorporated and the dough will look like that when it's done now spray with some nonstick spray a muffin tin and you may want to use two if you have it and then just use a medium sized scoop or a spoon and you will put that into the muffin tin and then I just take a spoon and I will flatten out the top. Preheat your oven and you want to bake these on 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes and I baked mine for 18 minutes and they looked fine. Now to, for the filling melt two tablespoons of butter and you want to put the uh, apple dices into that pan and you want to cook that down till it's somewhat soft then add your brown sugar and I like to try to get it on every part of the uh, apples as much as I can then I will add the granulated sugar and I will just sprinkle that on top and just try to cover it all. Now just mix everything in well and then you will add your cornstarch, your ground nutmeg, and your ground cinnamon to this. That will season these apples up really nicely. 
and I like to just spoon it over the same as I did with the brown sugar and the granulated sugar and you will cook this down just until it's just a little bit softened and it caramelizes a little bit and then that part is done now in the recipe it says you can use a shot glass and you just spray it with some nonstick spray but I'm using this little measuring cup that I have and I think it worked perfectly and you just make a little indention in there that makes the cup that way you can put the apple filling into that and I also took a knife I let that cool for just a little bit after um, I made the holes and I took a knife and just kind of loosened those cookies up around the tin and then I took and put those on top of a uh, cooling rack to let them cool the rest of the way. And this is what the cookie cup will look like once it's done and it's cooled off and you can see the thickness of it but they were completely done I did have one that broke when I took it out too soon of the pan so make sure you do let them cool just a little bit you don't want them to cool completely but let it cool down just a little bit before you take it out so they don't break but that was like a test cookie and it really was delicious so just on its own this would probably probably make a really good oatmeal cookie and it really was good now just take a spoon and then you would scoop as much of that apple mixture into the hole that you can fill it in and you can kind of fill it up to the top kind of go over it a little bit like a little dome and then I drizzled some caramel sauce over it so it really did make a really nice little uh, dessert and this is great for Thanksgiving. You can even make this ahead of time where you make the cookies and the filling but just don't put them together until the day of your event or Thanksgiving. Um, that way they don't get soggy. But you can definitely make both of these separately and then just put it together the day that you're going to have you're going to serve these and this is what it looks like with the caramel sauce on top and it really did add a little bit to this I feel uh, but you don't have to add the caramel sauce if you don't want but I do feel like it added just a little bit something to it you can even put a little bit of ice cream on top if you wanted but I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like it, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. And please don't forget to go and visit the channels that are on the playlist. They have some great recipes, and I hope that you would go and check those out also. I hope that everyone has a blessed day and a great week ahead. And I just thank y'all so much for watching. God bless y'all.